Hello, good evening. Welcome back to my channel. This evening we're going to look at solving equation, but this time it's involving two steps. For example, if we have 3y minus 3 equals 12. So I've got 3y, which means 3 is multiplying the y, and then I also have minus 3. So I, have, I need to move times and I also need to move take away. Now which one of them should I move first? Now remember some time back when you did priority of operations where you did the bottomless rule and then that guides you which operation can be moved before which. And then you have bracket or divide, multiply, add, subtract. So bracket is actually the strongest one. And as you go down, it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. So here where we have multiply and take away to move, we realize that the multiply is stronger than the take away. So the multiply is all the way up here and the take away is all the way down the bottom, which means it's weaker. So what we're going to do is that we're going to move the weaker one first. Now, whatever is to move it, whatever it's doing, we need to do the opposite. And the opposite of a minus is add. So instead of minusing three, we are not going to add three because we want to cancel it or we want to get rid of it. But being an equation with both sides balanced, if I add three on one side, I need to add three over on the other side in order to make it balance again. So now I'm going to add three to my 12. So I'll write up my three Y because that hasn't been affected. Minus three and we add three. That's going to give us zero, which cancels that out or deletes that. Put back my equal sign. And then 12 and 3 is 15. The next thing that I need to move now is my 3 because I need, at the end, I need to have y equals whatever it works out to be. So therefore, this 3 needs to go. The 3 is multiplying the y. So again, we're going to do the opposite of whatever it's doing. The opposite of, of multiply is divide. So we're going to divide it by 3. Being an equation which is balanced, whatever I do on one side, I need to do it on the other side. So on this side, I'm going to also divide it by 3. 3 divided by 3 cancels out, so I now have 1y remaining. And then 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now I have 1y is equal to 5. Now I don't have to write the 1 before the y because having the y by itself is the same thing as saying it's just one y that I have. If I had two y's, I would definitely need to put that, that 2 in order to make your way that it's two y's that I, I'm having. If 3y, it's important to put the 3 as well to know that it's 3y that you're talking about. However, because it's only one Y, I don't need to put the, the one there, right? So therefore, our answer here now is Y is equal to five. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you will subscribe and look forward to the other videos that will be coming up. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.